Hello everyone, I'm Sarah, welcome back to the Peacock HD Games channel. The Pokemon game genre is one of the game genres that can be said to be quite liked by gamers on mobile, PC, and other platforms. Currently, Pokemon games are also equipped with fun and good elements, such as the open world genre, simulation genre, adventure genre, and many other game genres that you can find in Pokemon games. For that, in this video, Peacock HD will discuss about Pokemon-themed Android games that you can download and play later. But before entering the topic of video discussion, don't forget to press the like, subscribe, and notification buttons so you don't miss the latest video information from us. Okay, here is a list of 6 Android games, Pokemon-themed, the best in the 2021 version of Peacock HD, and happy watching until the end. Number 1, we have a game, Magikarp Jump. Magikarp Jump is one of the newest Pokemon games on the list. This is a simple little casual game. Your job is to train Magikarp. The goal is to flop higher than the opponent's Magikarp. This may seem a little silly because it is. You have to feed him, train him, and enter him into competitions to make him stronger. It features cameos from other Pokemon along with a few tweaks. Like Camp Pokemon, it's definitely made for casual gamers. Next up, we have a cool game, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go hits the world like a ton of bricks. This is without a doubt the most popular Pokemon game on mobile. There aren't many people who don't know how this game works. You walk around the real world, catch Pokemon, level them up, and then use them to battle in the gym. Real world elements also motivate you to leave the couch and meet new people. There are various things to make the game more interesting like in-game events. Fashion has died down a lot. However, it just leaves more room for true Pokemon Go fans. The update continues to add new content, new game modes, new Pokemon, and new activities for trainers. Number 3, we have a fun game, Pokemon Home. Pokemon Home isn't technically a game. However, this is an add-on for other Pokemon games. It serves a bank and you can send your Pokemon there to transfer it between other games. So if you have a Pokemon in Alpha Sapphire that you want in Sword or Shield, this is the app that lets you do that. Additionally, it has a Pokedex to track your overall progress along with the ability to send mystery gifts and trade trades with other players. It runs $15.99 per year, but that's a small price to play for a hardcore player. Be warned though, as this app still needs more features and tools than it currently has. Next up, we have the Pokemon Masters game. Pokemon Masters is one of the newer options on mobile, comparatively. You team up with other trainers for 3 vs 3 battles with all your Pokemon at once. It's by Dina, the developers of Final Fantasy Record Keeper, so developers are knowledgeable about doing free games from major franchises. The game features trainers from most Pokemon games as well as PvP and co-op multiplayer modes. It's new so there's still some growing pain, but it should be pretty popular. Fifth list, we have the game, Pokemon Playhouse. Pokemon Playhouse is a children's game for Pokemon fans. The game includes a huge playhouse with tons of Pokemon. Kids interact with houses, Pokemon, and other in-game elements. The game has super simple controls, lots of color and noise, and other elements that kids might like. It is aimed at younger children from 3 to 5 years of age. 
So don't expect anything complicated from this Pokemon game. Camp Pokemon is another excellent Pokemon title for kids who are a little older. Pokemon Playhouse is also free with no in-app purchases or ads. Lastly, we have the game, Pokemon Quest. Pokemon Quest is another new Pokemon game from 2018. It is also one of the few cross-platform Pokemon games. You can play on your phone or on the Nintendo Switch. The world of Pokemon is cube-shaped, but your goal remains largely the same. You catch Pokemon, train them, and fight them. There are also campgrounds where players customize the space and make it their own. It's a full game unlike something like Camp Pokemon or Pokemon Playhouse. So, we only recommend it for kids and older adults. There are a few bugs in the game, but nothing too serious. Granted, it's not as fun as the main series Pokemon games. That's a list of six Android games, themed with the newest and best Pokemon in 2021, that you've watched until the end. Thank you very much for watching our video, hopefully our game recommendations can be useful for you all, and see you in the next video summary of the best games list. If you have suggestions or want to recommend other good games, you can post questions in the comments. We all say, simple game, simple enjoy, see you in the next video.